Assalamualaikum. Very good morning to everyone. Um, my presentation is titled A Journey Towards a Recognized Tibet Hub and Academia Industry Collaboration Approach Model. So basically, I'm going to present about um, an initiative by the Tibet Council called Tibet Collaboration Hub and uh, the center under my management is being recognized as one of the um, Tibet Collaboration Hub for the field of semiconductor. I'm Associate Professor T.S. Dr. Yufudim Wahab from um, University of Malaysia Police. And I'm currently the manager for the Ambience uh, Semiconductor Tibet Collaboration Hub under Pusat Tibet uh, University of Malaysia Police. Okay, um, I'm from University of Malaysia Police and um, I've been working in University of Malaysia Police since 2002, since the start of um, the university uh, in police. Uh, before this, I was working in, in various other institutions involving um, Malaysian IPT and also industry. Um, being uh, 22 years in academics, of course, I've been participating in a lot of collaboration activities with the industry, especially because of my part, because of my um, contribution to the university to set up uh industrial collaboration since the beginning of the establishment of the university and um, even until now i'm still doing a lot of industry collaboration activities um, i'm attached to the faculty of electronic engineering and, and technology and also um tibet center or pusat tibet My presentation will be covering the um, aspects related to the Tibet Collaboration Hub, especially for um, Ambience Tibet Collaboration Hub for Semiconductor in University of Malaysia Police. Um, I will be presenting and sharing the development of the center from the beginning how the activities with the industry have enabled us to actually set up a specialized center for industry collaboration for the semiconductor industries and also electronic industries in northern Malaysia especially. Well, it started after I um, completed my PhD in 2010 and I joined with um, industry partner to help increase uh, the number of um, engineers and technicians in the field of semiconductor processing, uh, semiconductor design, like IC design, FPGA design. So based on that, um, I expanded the activities to cover not just one company expand to cover many other companies um, in the semiconductor industry in the northern region and after the start we managed to grow the center into uh, center of Excellence or COE uh, and the first COE in the uh, University of Malaysia Police in 2012 and um, now after more than 10 years of collaboration we managed to train more than 1,000 engineers and technicians uh, using the facilities and uh, the program never stopped and we keep on expanding the contribution to the industry 
um, using a special model. So this presentation is about sharing of the idea that enable the growth of the center and finally the center being awarded um, the recognition as one of the TVET collaboration hub with specific focus on semiconductor and this is the only Tibet collaboration hub out of the 12 that is focusing more on solely on semiconductor my presentation will cover the introduction and how the initial efforts covering semiconductor fabrication and IC design being involved with industry partners and being recognized as the COE. And then I will expand my explanation to the collaboration activities, which covers short courses, long training, and also um, professional programs and also postgraduate programs with industry and then I will explain the model that we use as a base for our effort to obtain the acceptance of the industry to collaborate throughout the decade long duration of collaboration and finally i will share the recognition that we received from the malaysian prime minister okay um as we all know tvet stands for technical vocational education and training and um in 2022 Malaysian Tibet Council appointed 12 Tibet Collaboration Hub. This is actually a, a new initiative, still new, okay, and a limited number of uh, entities being appointed, being awarded as the Tibet Collaboration Hub. And the, there is only one. Tibet Collaboration Hub for Semiconductor, which covers design and fabrication, and also um, related technologies. And uh, for my case, our case in Unimap, um, the name of the entity is Advanced Multidisciplinary MEMS based Integrated Electronics NCR Center of excellence um, the coe uh, based on the long efforts before the establishment um, as i explained earlier collaboration involved many industries uh, after 2010 and in 2011 several mos and mous being signed and we managed to execute research and training collaborations based on that in 2012 uh, the collaboration uh, expanded to cover many more aspects of semiconductor and uh, full imp implementation successfully uh, performed so in 2012 it became a coe with the name advanced mems based integrated electronics and CR center of excellence as i mentioned earlier um, this slide is showing the opening ceremony uh, by the 
the region of the state uh, by the highness royal highness the region of the state this is in 2012 and uh, when we first open the center we have got two big spaces in the um, Kuala Police Industrial Park. One is for fabrication and the other one we dedicated to the design activities uh, using CADs. And also after that, we expand to another unit of the industries facility uh, this one the new one covers the testing verification modeling characterization measurement activities so altogether we have three different units of the um, industry area in terms of tools physical tools software tools we have everything to help implement the fabrication testing verification design for ic and also mems mems stands for micro electromechanical system uh, one of the big categories of uh, semiconductor device so we cover all ic design board design and also fabrication which is considered as complete for semiconductor and the motivation of course we think a lot on how to partner with the industry but because um, i've been doing industrial collaboration since the year 2002 so we had limited um, challenges in this field actually and um, as everyone knows semiconductor technology expanded very very rapidly and one of the challenge for the industry in Malaysia is also how to cope with continued miniaturization so using what we already have in Malaysia at that time we try to leverage try to propose to leverage on micro electromechanical system technology which not really require continued miniaturization of course we can continue to miniaturize but MEMS X opens another big opportunity for innovation using the currently available processing technology. And because of this, we managed to implement the research and training together with the industry. And after that, we further expand our collaboration to include professional diploma and also postgraduate degrees to the industry, to the engineers. We managed to do so many programs with industry and I'm showing you now examples of the program with various multinational companies in the northern region. We managed to train more than 1,000 engineers within the 10 years duration a big success and uh, this slide now is showing the aspects that we cover in our collaboration activities be it training be it research or services or other possible collab collaboration activities that we can offer to the industry all cover fabrication all cover design cover system integration for the integrated circuit or ic for mems micro electromechanical system and also for embedded systems 
that will actually help the industry in terms of upskilling and providing skilled workers, skilled engineers, technicians, etc. Um, I have a few slides showing examples of activities that we conducted with the industry. This is one of it uh, for uh, MNC in Penang. Okay, many, many collaboration, but I'm just showing three or four here. And this is another uh, collaboration. You can see participants wearing their bunny suits doing activities in the clean room, testing, design, measurement as required by the industry. In terms of services to industry, we also have like more than 20 uh, activities to get all together. For example, we have here examples of uh, working with the industry in terms of design of MEMS for multinationals and also for local institutions. We also collaborate with local institutions because different institutions has got different um, sets of strength that we need to also collaborate so that the strength of different institutions can be expanded and this ex slide here is showing an example of another activities with the industry uh, in another sector of uh, the industrial area now um, these posters are actually showing um, some other collaborations that we participated um, for example, the left one is showing how uh, we contributed to the for the growth of technical staff of the industry by designing a very low cost but efficient uh, system for them to use in their teachings. Um, and the right one is on the design of um, systems to help increase yield for the agricultural sector. And then uh, further uh, in biomedical, you can see the left poster is showing collaboration and research and innovation for biomedical. And the right, the right one is for um, gas detection that we did together with the industry. So now this is the key thing here, the model. Um, before we being able to execute any program with the industry, we need to have the capabilities, the strength. We need to identify what our strength as a coe for example for our case we have the courses the curriculum we have the capabilities in research with all the researchers participating we have the expertise in various fields that can combine effort to partner with industry while the industry they have got great human capital that some may need to be further enhance in terms of skills. They have technology, they have drive for innovation. They have funds to actually execute programs to be more competitive. So how do we merge the needs, the requirements and the understanding to actually implement collaboration activities. So in doing so, we follow the internationally recognized model called the triple helix model. Um, I'm using um, this diagram here from um, the authors as stated down there below the diagram. You can see the, how the triple helix involve government, industry, and also 
the university or institutes work together towards common goal. So this model is very successful uh, in our experience and by implementing this model, we managed to merge uh, human capital development programs together with research development and also service that we offer become the model for collaboration and was very successful for the whole 10 years duration and because of the success we managed to get the recognition by the prime minister in the year 2022 to be the tibet collaboration hub for semiconductor the only one in russia and the recognition um, by the prime minister and Malaysian tibet council in the year 2022 made us proud because we managed to contribute to the nation to provide and train and skilled engineering and technical experts for the industry this slide is showing the certificate that we obtained from the prime minister because this is another one so i think uh, that is the presentation and sharing that i can do and if you have any question you can ask me using the channels provided in the uh, youtube as explained by the secretariat so i'll be willing to answer all questions with that, I stop my presentation. Thank you.